Super Men Lois, Season 2, Episode 14. Guys, this is the series finale. One more episode. We got to go. And yes, we're back. And my name is Tay Jello. And today, well, I mean, you already know now. So, Anyway, we start off this episode with Clark finally waking up and ready to go home. And you can just see, like, Clark is just completely stumbling. Like, he can't. He can't really move properly. He just like he's just really falling down, basically. And he says that he's going to go see his mom. So maybe she can find out what's going on with them because he's just not getting solar energy, you know, like he should be. So, I mean, his best option is to ask Jordan. But of course, Jordan is just like, what? I can't do that. I mean, like maybe I might fall or I might lose control, basically, and all that stuff. So they just say, yeah, we'll just, I'll call John so he can help you get there or whatever. So then we move on to Natalie and John. And Natalie and John, they're trying to figure out a way for Allie not to steal their powers. And because, you know, she absorbed the hammer's power and she absorbed the suit's power, even though he had the XK and everything. So, you know, they have to find out a way. So that's when Clark gets here. He tells them the whole situation. And he asked John to go there so maybe they can ask his mom how to, you know, stop her from absorbing this stuff. So then we move over to Lana. She tells Sarah to get packed and she's got an attitude, Sarah, and all that stuff. So then we move over to Sophie and she sees Allie on the TV screen. So the words are finally merging right now. So they're finally, you know, like, well, they're merging. And we even see this with um, Chrissy. Her computer is kind of glitching out and everything, so... Yeah, and she brings up the Lois that, like, they need to run this story about Superman, how he lost his powers and all that stuff, and, like, Lois says no because the whole town, you know, is going to start freaking out, and they don't need that right now, but Chris is just like, well, I mean, it's not up to us. <laughs> this is stupid, I mean, but whatever. Uh, Lois basically kind of agrees, but she doesn't, so, yeah, but they don't really have time to talk about that because the world is kind of ending, <laughs> so... Superman, we meet up with uh, his mom, and his mom basically says she knows what's going on, but she says she can't fix it because basically it will heal over time, but like he's going to have to absorb, he's going to have to get his powers back the same way he got them before. No, well, the same way he got them, like they have to manifest the same way they did, you know, like when he was born. And Clark says he manifests his powers when he was like four. So. Yeah, I don't know if I, I can't really explain it that that well, but like basically, yeah, it's going to take like four years for him to actually use the same powers that he did before. So, of course, they don't have time for that. And he asks, like, is there a better option? But his mom starts glitching out because the worlds are colliding now. And she says there was some, she said there was some other way, but it would might kill him. So we have no idea what that is. She never got to tell him. So John and they and uh, Clark, they look out and they see that there's a red cube sun. So finally, Lon, I mean, Lois's dad finally shows up and, you know, he's just like kind of confused about like what's going on and everybody else is too. So they, Clark and uh, John get there. They ask him like, oh, so did it go well? And they say no. And oh, yeah, by the way, John also has the D.O.D. Or Colonel Lang, they got a DOD or whatever. So they group up and they start talking. And John, he pretty much says that he's gonna have to go down to the mines so he can like find some kind of power source. But basically, they just say they don't know like what to do because they're basically powerless right now. So Lois says that her and Chris are probably gonna run this story. Of course, her dad says no because he doesn't want the whole town freaking out. And, like, you know, with the DOD, they're going to run a statement anyway, so there's no point. But Lowe's disagrees, so... But he says, no, no, no. Like, it's not a good idea. Anyway, Clark, he goes to ask if, like... Clark, he basically is completely powerless in this episode. Like, you could just really see, like, it's taking a toll on him because, like, all this stuff is going on and he just can't do a thing about it. And it's kind of sad, I mean, really. So then we go back to the town. They're freaking out. Some of them are calm because they say, well, well, we can trust in the DOD, but some other people are not. And Lana walks in. Kyle tells him, like, the whole town's kind of getting rustled up, and he's asking, like, what's going on? And she says she just doesn't know. So, yeah. She also wa tells him to just watch the kids while she goes to her office. 
So then John and Natalie, they're in space. They're looking at this sun and wow, the colonel was just uh, watching them. So they discover that this sun is actually not a fake out. It's actually real. And it's just the sun, the other sun from Zara World, of course, colliding with ours. So they say if they keeps on doing this, then it's going to destroy, well, their sun. So Clark, he walks away because, you know, he just feels powerless because he is. He's powerless right now. And John is just like, not John. Is his name John? I can't remember. But the colonel basically says, um, he pretty much says, hey, I mean, this is my fault. Like, if, if you never saved me, then if I never got myself in danger, then maybe, you know, you would still have your powers and we can save the day. But, you know, Clark disagrees. He's like, to save a life is a good thing, you know, and all that stuff. So they go to Chrissy and Lois, they go to Lana and they tell him to run the story, basically giving her all this information. And Lana's just like, OK, so like, what do you expect me to do with that? And like, why would you hold all this information and all that stuff? But Lois gives this whole speech about, you know, she's always upheld the truth, but and, you know, like kept people from the truth and all that stuff. But she says, now nah, I'm actually just going to give it to you and. Whatever you want to do with this information is up to you because you're the mayor. So keep it. Don't tell anyone. Do tell anyone. Whatever. So then we move over to the boys and jo Jordan tries to call us to his dad who's like literally like, like what? I don't know, like a couple inches away. He's basically sitting right next to him. Hey, and he can't hear him because he doesn't have his powers. That's when Lana shows up getting ready to kill Clark and Jordan tells Jonathan to get inside and Lana instantly, Jordan, he tries to put up a fight, but Lana is too strong and ends up getting him in a chokehold and is about to laser him until Clark says, you know, just leave him alone and take me. And she stops. I don't know why, but, well, okay, I guess I do know why. Anyway, uh, John and Natalie, they show up and Lana flees. So then they regroup and Natalie pretty much explains that their worlds are colliding. And if they collide, all these other buildings are going to start looking different and everything. They're going to start morphing into that world. And also the people, if they combine, they may die. So I don't know how Na I don't know how Allie doesn't know this fact. Like, why does she want to kill everybody? I don't I don't really know. I thought this was for a different reason, but uh, uh, she crazy. So. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Lana just needs some advice from Kyle. They sit down, they, and he actually explains the reason why he cheated on her and how he was feeling. He was feeling shame. That's why he didn't tell her the truth because he was feeling shame and all that stuff. And it's pretty real. It, yeah, it's pretty real. I mean, I know, like, look, 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 look. <laughs> I understand. Not many people like this. And I don't really either. It, it kind of gets annoying, but I mean. <laughs> This is a family show. I mean, it's a drama family show or whatever. So it's all about family. <laughs> so, yeah. So you can see like the divorce is kind of like, you know, it looks like they're trying to get back together or whatever. But I, I don't know. I mean, you're going to see them in a sex scene in a couple of minutes and that's going to be it. <laughs> so Jordan, he's freaking out because he can't stop Lana and he can't stop anyone else that comes through and. Clark, he doesn't have his powers and all that stuff, and they're just completely defenseless. And, you know, John can't do anything about it, so. Clark, he's just, like, nervously standing there, and, like, he asks, like, did you tell Lana? And Lois says yes, and he's just like, I just feel completely weak. Like, I can't, I can't really save them anymore. But that's when Lois tells him that it's not just because you have superpowers that people, like, look up to you. It's all because you inspire them with hope. That's your other superpower. So that gives Clark an idea. So then Lana, she comes in and she starts telling the people about what's going on with the Red Sun. And George, dumbass, <laughs> George, stupid ass, come in here, start talking about, you know, that's so stupid or whatever. And the rest of the town agree, which I don't understand. Why is this so weird? You guys have a guy who can run at light speed, a man a woman who can literally freeze stuff cold in seconds and a and your literal hero is a guy with soup who's an alien but you can't believe that they're two worlds combining that just seems so stupid <laughs> and you can't believe that superman's lost his powers either so then clark shows up in his superman suit and confirms everything to the town 
while this is going on, Jordan, he pulls um, Sarah to the side and explains that they have been planning this whole thing. He didn't explain that he was, you know, that Superman's his dad, but yeah, he basically explained like why he was so distant. And Clark, he gives his little speech. The rest of the town, of course, they shut up and, you know, they believe him because they be dick riders. <laughs> exactly. They were talking all that until Clark came in there. So then we see Natalie and John. They're getting prepared to go fight Allie. And that's when John actually puts a lock on Natalie's suit. And he explains that she's not he's that she's not coming with him because he wants her to stay here so he can protect Clark. But I mean, honestly, you know, he just doesn't want to get her. She just, he just doesn't want her to get hurt. And, you know, Natalie's just like, I just got you back. I don't want to lose you again. And, you know, it's now different now because like Natalie, she has a family now. She has Jordan, she has the boys, she has Lois, Clark, Sarah, you know, she's got friends and she's got family now. She isn't really like, she does need John, but, you know, there's still people to take care of her. And, you know, he's just like, I'm going to be right back. Your suit's going to be offline for like 10 minutes. I'm going to be back, but I'm going to lose signal. So he goes into the black hole to go after Allie. Yes, I didn't explain that. My bad. Basically, they couldn't find out. Well, I'm okay. I guess y'all get it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, Lois, she tells tell, um, Kyle, and it really just looks like they're trying to put them back together. He just tells Kyle, you know, go take Sophie and y'all go to the house or whatever. And they're happy. That's when John, that's when Jonathan, Bizarro Jonathan, and Lana show up and they're ready to, well, wreck shit. <laughs> so, we see John. He goes into the portal and he goes after Allie. Natalie, she sees this, and she's just guiding him through, basically. So Jordan tells Sarah pretty much everything about why he's been so distant and what's been going on, that he's been talking about, you know, like, the red sun and all that stuff. Again, he never mentioned that Superman was a dad. He never mentioned the secret identity stuff, but he mentioned that, and Sarah actually believes him. So that's when Lana shows him, and she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you tell him. Because, you know, she's thinking that he told that she has superpowers to her, so... Yeah, but then Lana shows up, and, well, Jordan reveals it to her because he tells her to get out of here, and he flashes his laser eyes at Sarah. So, Lana and Jordan, they they fight, and, of course, I mean, like, Jordan, it's, like, <laughs> it's not going to really do much. So, but he could put up a fight. He could put up a decent fight. So, that's when Jonathan comes in here, Bizarro Jonathan, and he just pretty much tells Clark, like, you got nothing. There's nothing you can do, so I'm going to beat, so, you know, I'm going to, like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you in, in front of your your wife, your kid, in front of everybody. And you're not going to do a thing about it. <laughs> so we see John. He throws a missile at um, Allie. And it looks like it actually works until she reappears and knocks him out of orbit. Knocking him out. And Natalie can't even find him because he's just, well, lost now. So John Jonathan... Uh, Lois and everybody else just tells him to stop it, but of course he doesn't care. And he's just like, you know, it doesn't really matter now because he has no one to combine with, Clark. So, like, when the world's combined, he has no one to combine with since his dad is dead. So, in this scene, like, every time when they started, like, fighting, every time when he started, like, beating on Clark, I I was always thinking, like, maybe Clark was going to get his powers back in that one moment. It seems like they were, like, hinting at it. But, no. And he's ready to snap his neck. Jordan hears this and he goes Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> He's ascending. And, he, you know, he gets like, okay, we need to get, we, you know, it's time to go. It's time to go. So he gets his head straight. He knocks Lana into the gym and he, and he makes, and it's actually pretty smooth because he makes Lana hit Jonathan. So then him and Jonathan, they have his little laser battle while Lana's knocked out. And yeah. So he wins. Well, he doesn't really win. It's a pretty much a draw. Lana gets back up, and they started jumping this man. <laughs> they started jumping Jordan, and everybody's like, screaming, no! <laughs> so then Natalie comes in with a clutch, throws a hammer. It misses. Then Jordan catches it, and bonk! <laughs> that was the best team-up move I've ever seen. I mean, we need more of that in the CW. Like, we need more of that, like, team-up battles. That's, like, that's cool. Like, I like to see combos. I like, that's cool. So, yeah, Jordan stops everyone, and uh, 
the colonel says he's going to get Lana and Jonathan back to the DOD where they'll be, you know, putting their cages or whatever. And Clark goes over to congratulate Jordan. And, yeah. So then they go over to Natalie, and Natalie just asks if she could stay here. And, you know, she, you know, Lois comforts her. That's their new family, which I love Natalie this season. Like, that was so, like, seeing the character development and everything, and, like, just the progression and everything is just, it, it's its good. Like, it's really good. And Lois just says, of course, yeah, you can stay. So that was that was actually pretty good. I really love that. And then we flash back to uh, John, and he's still knocked out. So then we go over to Sarah, and she has pretty much put two and two together that Lana already knew Jordan had superpowers. And, you know, she's just like, why didn't you tell me? Because, like, if you had told me, I would have never broken up with him and all that stuff. And like, yeah, like this ruined everything. And she's obviously mad. And Lana says, you know, I didn't want to tell you because it's such a big secret and it could save your life. She was trying to explain that if she did tell you, you could be kidnapped because people want to find out the secret. So, yeah, she didn't want to put her life in danger. And she tells him to not tell anyone else. Now, she didn't put together that you know, Jordan's dad was Superman. So she may think he's, like, on XK or something. Anyway, uh, they... The two worlds start finally colliding, and everything starts changing. And you can even see, like, the Ken's, old, the Ken's house is now changing into the Bizarro house. And, um, Kyle disappears. I don't know why Kyle disappeared. My also question is, what happens to a person who doesn't have a doppelganger? Because Sophie doesn't have a doppelganger since Lana and Kyle on that world never got together or even met before. So what happens to Sophie then? Does she just disappear? Does she die? Like, what, what, what's going on? So then we flash over to Allie and she got this creepy looking smile. And yeah. And that is the end of the episode. So final thoughts... This episode was pretty good. I don't think it was better than the other one. Like I said, that was that that last episode was the best episode of season two. I don't care what anyone says. Maybe episode fifteen will be the best. I have no idea. But yeah. Um one more episode, guys. We have one more episode. Uh I already said the problems. I already said it's just like it's this minor problem. It was a minor problem. Yeah. But and I understand why they did it, so, yeah. But anyway, I think overall this episode was pretty good. Yeah, it was a pretty good episode. I don't know if I really care for the Lana and Kyle stuff, but, it, yeah, that was okay. That was pretty cool. Um, Yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for six likes on my other Flash review episode i got like 580 views thank you thank you thank you for checking my video out please though please don't forget to like the video please do not forget to like the video especially on my like new flash video like the second the second to well no just the last one the latest latest one but uh thank you uh, i want to post it on twitter but if youtube want to post it on instagram better share to your service here with your cousin your uncle whoever share it with everyone and yeah, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to like this video. Please get it to like six likes or something. And subscribe, please. Thank you guys. For